All right, friends, welcome back to another episode of Tactical Enlightenment. This YouTube channel is dedicated to helping you improve your game skill at Bannerlord through the use of advanced tactics. Uh, and I get requests for this a lot, so we're going to do another siege attack here. Uh, siege is definitely an integral part of the game, and you, you need to know the different methods to, to, to win yourself castles and keeps. Now, I've already showed using siege towers and also using uh, trebuchets. Today, we're going to try to force our way into this keep because I have a lot of other castles in my campaign that are under, that are under siege. Um, so we're also going to take a look at our party here. Most of our units pretty healthy, uh, and they will heal a little bit during the siege process. And then I always like to change my loadout for sieges like this. What we're going to do is we're going to be adding uh, more javelins to our loadout, right? We're going to make sure that we have the maximum amount of stacks. So I use large bags, and that gives me something like 30 javelins for the siege. Uh, as far as the approach here, we're going to do this kind of quick. And make sure this Valandian force isn't going to rally and attack us. All we're going to put up is one ram and one siege tower, regardless of the time of day it is. Uh, I might try to build one of these auto ballistas, but we're just going to try to bull, bull rush this keep. Uh, you need to have a very strong army to do this. Going up ladders... Oh, that ballista was... I put that one up a little too early. Going up ladders can be very perilous. Uh, as usual, I'm going to use normal player damage. Uh, but we're still going to force our way, and I'm going to try to show you the best way to use your ladders to get into, into a castle. Um, so like all of these sieges, you're going to see me compact the 8th Corps into, into one group, one division of all my elite companions. And I'm going to stick them down in the corner. It's not really letting me... Uh, here, I'll be able to do it now. I try to stick them in the corner until it's more obvious... No shit, make sure they're not going to get drilled by artillery. That is more that is obvious that I'm going to need them because you could suffer extreme casualties in a, in a keep like this, right? In a, in a siege like this. I don't need to lose 10 or 15 of my best companions, uh, uh, you know, and have a bunch of them injured when I can do a lot of this just with the regular troops. Now, if this, if this siege turns into a real brawl, a real nasty bloodbath, then I will bring up my 8th Corps. Uh, into this battle. It's also conceivable I'll move them up anyways if there seems to be an opening or I really need to force my way up. Um, so you saw I raced to these ladders with my horse. I like to get up there as fast as I can. I'm also micromanaging some units. I'm basically telling these units to get your ass over here. Uh, and then as usual, light these guys up with your javelins anywhere that there's an opportunity, right? These guys have no protection. That wall somehow is damaged either from a previous siege or, I don't know, maybe the engineers took a week off. Uh, but that, it's just easy pickings for these guys. They're just sitting on the wall. I've got Batanian Fiend Champs and other high-level archers just lighting these guys up. And what we're doing, of course, is reducing the defense before we even get up to the walls, right? Now, I also brought that infantry division up, and I told them to charge. In a siege like this, when you bring up infantry divisions and you tell them to charge, they will go up the ladders. i got to watch that siege tower, see if that thing survives too. Um, one of the keys, of course, to a siege is that you gain as much access as possible. Of course, that's also one of the keys to a defense, is you prevent as much access as possible. So we're going to get the infantry going up here. Now, you notice I didn't race up the ladder. I could have. I could have been the first man in the keep, but to, it, you saw all those infantry. You saw the, the defenders getting on the wall, getting out there. If you go up there, well, you're going to get smoked. You're going to be outnumbered. You're going to be surrounded, and you're going to get annihilated. Uh, what I'm waiting for is like 20 or 30 guys to get up there, and then I'll come in behind them. Now, you could jump off of ladders. So if I get to the top here, and my guys are just absolutely getting crushed, I'll just jump off and wait for more guys to get up here. Uh, but you can see already, there's 8, 9, 10 guys that have sort of forced their way up here, and we're going to join them. Uh, this is... This is the least tactics possible, this part right here. What you're going to do for the next, I don't know, it could take several minutes, is you're going to swing your axe overhead and fucking kill people. That's the big strategy right now, right? Occasionally you'll kick people. Uh, the benefit of kicking somebody in this instance is it goes right through their shield. It can't be blocked. Uh, of course, you got to watch for counterattacks, right? You see I'm sort of wedging myself in here bes bes besides uh, a companion. Uh, but what you're doing with your kick is you're forcing opponents away from you, at which point, of course, then you swing your axe. Uh, there's a time between kicks that the system doesn't allow you to. i got to be careful here. This is, You can get into a jackpot here real quick, but since I have so many guys behind me, what I'll do if I start getting in trouble is simply backpedal into this mass of, of, uh, of my own army. 
Uh, so what you're doing with your kicking is you're just pushing the enemy out of your way and then you're unleashing uh, your overhand sword. Of course, if you try to swing your weapon side to side, you're going to hit the wall, you're going to hit your own companions, uh, and you're not going to you're not going to accomplish much. Now, what I'm really trying to do is get behind this troops, right? I don't know if you could tell. I'm trying to shove my way around to the corner here. If I can kill one or two more guys around that corner, I'll be able to start really causing chaos because I won't be hemmed in like this. Now, this is a little bit of an even stalemate at this stage, right? The enemy's getting some kills. We're getting some kills. Um, but we are sort of slowly forcing our way through. Here, I've got a break, right? Now that you have a break, defend that break, right? I'm not going to go charging back in there. What I'm going to do is just do incredible damage to these guys. <laughs> that guy looked at me like he was worried about me. Then he looked away and I axed him, right? In this situation, you don't want to go back in where it's all crowded. Just sit, sit at the edges here and wreak as much havoc as you can. If you get overwhelmed, you might even jump off the edge of the, edge of the, the keep ball, right? That should always be a consideration. You'll probably suffer 15, 20% of your damage. I gotta watch those archers down there. Uh, those archers have a really good spot to, these fucks, they have a really good spot to, to pelt us. You also gotta watch, of course, of course guys coming in behind you uh, when you're on the wall. In fact, they may investigate this tower to see, see what it looks like. You see that group of archers down there? Those guys are gonna be an incredibly difficult obstacle because we're pinned kind of against this wall. And these fucks down here are just lighting us up with their with their arrows. Let's see if I can't chuck a few rocks on their head. And get my once I get my range in here, I'll definitely be able to kill a few. You can kill them on the walls too, but I would caution you here: you could definitely hit your own guys. Right. So now that we have a purchase, and what I mean by a purchase is look at how many guys are on that wall. They're not going to be able to shove us back now. Now at this stage, it's just sort of working around the edges and looking for an opening to sort of exploit against the enemy here, right? I was able to chuck some of those rocks and kill some of their troops. You can also see what's happening at the gate. The gate has just burst down there and those guys are pouring in. So a lot of the defenders are being sucked away because the computer AI, and just like a human AI, sees that gate now as a crisis. And, and obviously so. Right, the gate, you can get a lot more troops in than these ladders. So the 50 or 60 guys up here represent a little bit less of a threat than the hundreds that can pour through that front gate. Right? I talked about the javelins earlier. I, I didn't even mention this. I just do this like breathing. Anytime you got troops packed up like this, I ran out of rocks, right? Well, I can still kill. Look how many javelins I have. I have like 30 javelins. Look at the enemy. Just They either broke or they're heading to where the keep is is uh, sort of fading, the, the wall area there where it's starting to, to break open. And, of course, our guys are now free, uh, at least more free. They've got a handful of defenders here. They broke off. It looks like they broke off a sizable amount of defenders. The enemy's actually outside here. Uh, but we're going to get aggressive with this infantry division. We're going to push them forward and see if we can't get down there. If you can, if you can hit the enemy on multiple sides, then they're really fucked. Uh, again, I'm pot-shotting these archers down here. These guys are taking shots at us. Most of our guys up here have shields, but if they're getting shot on the side, of course, the shields are not very valuable, not very, not very effective. The main gate definitely looks like it's burst, and the and the, uh, the enemy's having a hard time hold us back there. I talked about earlier about getting as many different. Let me get a shield here. Uh, as many different puncture points to a keep as you can, right? By pressuring them here on these ladders, we were able to take troops away from the front wall defense, right? From that front gate defense, and we were eventually able to burst through the gate. Then, once we burst through the gate, the AI kind of panicked and pulled a lot of the troops away from this these latter areas uh you know so it's the enemy's basically uh they're kind of doomed if they do doomed if they don't right they do have a decent little archer shock here you see i'm just kind of moving left and right as i throw moving targets right that if you stand still you're going to get pelted here you just keep moving i do have a shield i'm prioritizing these batanium fiend champs down there have one of those bud right in the head uh, and again, this is what I talked about before. This is why I wanted to load up on javelins. I must have killed 40 guys in this in this siege already just by throwing javelins. So these guys, these are archers. They're kind of in a bad spot. I guess I can call them and, and have them follow me. Um, archers that are climbing up ladders are, are kind of in trouble. Let's see what this other side looks like. I didn't pay that close attention to see if the siege ram made it, or the siege tower made it. It doesn't look like it. Now I see the carcass of it out there. Um, 
But what I can do is I can force these troops to get up on this wall because maybe if I get archers up here, we could shoot down on the enemy, right? These archers, I told them to follow me. Oh, shit, the enemy's like right here. It's hard to see uh, between my color and Blandia. You've heard me talk about that in other episodes. Uh, I wish I could change the tint so my tint was a little brighter orange or something like that. Uh, oftentimes I, I mistake the enemy troops for, for my own. These guys are trying to light me up here. So we got a little bit of skirmishing here. I'd love to be able to call archers up here because their large group of archers down there. There goes your head, bud. Their large group of archers will be fucked if I can get archers up here in a big spray and just start raining arrows down on them. Now, anytime you see militia or these are low-level crossbowmen, you know, shooting your guys, cut them down. Right? You, 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 these guys are going to do a lot more damage with their crossbow. Uh, don't let them. I've got these explodable balls here, too. God, I'd love to be able to lob one of those into that enemy archer mass. They're way too far away for me to do it. I mean, realistically, I'll probably try just because I love trying, uh, you know, difficult things. But if I could lob, like, one ball into that mass of archers, I'm just kind of taking cover here from the multiple ways I'm getting shot. It would blow up, like, 30 of those guys. That'd be very effective. These fucks in here. I mean, this is my... These are my home home field troops, so to speak. This this is a castle that Valandia took recently with a savage force. Um, this 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 keep Barcheg has been under siege a lot. Uh, so theoretically, you know, I'm killing these Sturgeon militia. They're kind of like my own guys. But obviously when they're shooting at me, coming at me with their stupid Santa Claus hat, uh, these fucks are going to get an axe to the face. So they've been able to wedge up the front gate pretty good, but we still have this side, right? We have, this was again the advantage of having multiple purchase points. I'm going to bring in the 8th core here. I, I don't know, I can't see him responding to me when I'm clicking follow. There's some possibility, look at these guys coming down the ladder. There's some possibility that they already came up to battle. I don't, I, sometimes I'll fat finger command and they might have already uh, charged up. But in any case, I'm going to try to bring them into this fight. these explodable balls man i'm dying just to just to lob one of them right yeah so you get hit by an arrow and it and they and you drop them um, it, it's an unfortunate it's an unfortunate thing i'm going to kind of weave in here they've got about a dozen maybe two dozen archers over here that are sort of taking pot shots at us i'd like to reduce this uh this problem oh see my archers and other troops finally did make it up I, that's either the eighth core of the archers we're going to be able to make quick work of these fucks up here now we brought the we didn't literally bring the, the cavalry, but this is kind of like the equivalent, right? You don't have cavalry in a keep siege, uh, but when you get a big thrust of guys, I, I see some of my elite eighth corps here. So these are the guys I called. I told them to follow me, uh, and they just poured in. And at this stage, the enemy's fucked, right? I'm actually looking at the top bar. The enemy's down to 50 or 100 guys, maybe 200 guys at most anyways. But if there was a large defense force here, I now have all of these nasty ranged troops up on this siege wall. Uh, and the enemy's fucked, right? They would be shot with a hundred arrows every two seconds. Javelins. I just want to kill one guy with this explodable ball. Um, anyways, so you prepare in a siege like this for worst case scenario. Had there been twice or three times as many troops defending inside, we still might have been able to bull rush this keep. And that's pretty much it. it looks like there's... I, I want to just throw this ball so bad, just blow some guy up. Um, so I know this isn't the greatest tactical demonstration, but I do get requests for capital, uh, castle sieges like this. Uh, it is harder to go up the ladders like we just did. Again, I'll cover some of the, the most important points. You want to wait. First, you want to bring infantry up, and, and you want to wait until they have a purchase. You want to send them up, attack, F1, F3, and then once they're up there, if you have a fair number, 8, 10, 12 guys, uh, then you can join them in combat. Right. You have to have good camp combat skills. You don't want to be going up there if you're level 14 or something like that and getting annihilated. Uh, but if you're an advanced, you know, 30, level 40 even, um, you can join them in combat on the walls. And if you're smart, uh, you make good decisions. And then once you have a puncture point, push your men forward to really uh, sort of make a make a uh, an opening. You can you can definitely bull. I call this like a bull rush siege, uh, and you can do this quickly. Ah, so they retreated to the keep. It's kind of a little gimmick of the game. You, you never lose these. I'll just have this shit autoplay. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it has some benefit to some of you out there, those that requested it. Uh, and I'll see you friends next time.